Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in my this particular video, I am going to show you how you can create a Flask API to communicate with Snowflake. Suppose one particular query you want to execute in a particular Snowflake table or you want to fetch some amount of data from a particular table using this particular API, then how you can write the code, that's what I am going to discuss. Okay. So this particular demonstration I am going to show with Python. So obviously some Python connectors are required and for that you can follow this documentation. Just we need to follow these steps whatever is given like for example Snowflake connector should support among these Python versions only. So first let's check Python version. Okay. So I will be going to PyCharm and then here I will be pasting that and it is 3.8.3. So we are all good. Okay. Because 3.8 is present here so we are all set and then next one is basically we have to upgrade the pip okay so we'll do that we'll execute this and it is requirement already satisfied okay done then next one is you have to go below and then here we have to do pip install but point to be noted if your python is 3.6 then only you will write requirement 36 but our python is 3.8 so we will write requirements underscore 38 okay so i'll be going to this notepad where I have written the same steps python version and python m pip install upgrade and then pip install this particular one just we will update instead of requirements underscore 36 we will be putting 38 okay so then we will be installing the dependencies from github okay I will be copying this and here maybe I will be keeping hyphen t dot so target directory will be this on this hyphen t and then dot okay and then here I'll be copying this particular one and I'll be listing that here. I'll be getting and that. So it will be installing the uh, supporting packages and all these things. Okay. And then as part of the next step, you will see here pip install snowflake connector python version. Okay. So what version we have specified? We have specified basically 2.6.2 okay so we will be using 2.6.2 only here there is this particular code we have to execute so that's the same thing i have written here just hyphen t dot i added so the target directory will be current directory only okay and then it is installing all these things let's wait for some more time okay And it is done. Then next one is actual Snowflake connector installation. Let it install. And the next step is suppose you want to fetch some amount of data from a Snowflake table. That time that SQL query will be executing using pandas, and in pandas data frame will be reading the data, whatever that SQL query will return the result set. Okay. So for that we need uh, pandas. Okay. So here snowflake pandas, if you write, you will be getting, okay, so here you will click on the first link and then here you will see that we have to execute this particular piece of code, okay. So same thing I have written here also, just I will add hyphen d dot, okay, and pandas also installation required, so here I will be writing pip install pandas hyphen d dot, okay. I will be copying this particular piece and here I will be pasting that here. Let pandas install and then we will be installing this one. Okay. So these are some installations which you have to do. Okay. I and I will be providing all these ports in the description box or in the comment section so it will be helpful for you to execute them one by one. Okay. Right. So it is installing. Okay, it's done and the last step is this particular one okay i'll be copying this and here i'll be pasting it okay right 
So here Panda is still installed. Now the next step is we have to write the code. So for this particular API creation, we are going to use Flask. Okay. So here from Flask import Flask and request is required. Request we are basically importing so that we will be taking some query parameter whatever is passed via that API. Okay. Which we are going to create using Flask. Okay. Then pandas import is required. Snowflake connector we are importing so that we can create the connection with Snowflake database and import JSON we are also importing so that we, the, the result set of a particular SQL query we can return as JSON format. As you know that when doing API call and most of the, this kind of things request library we handle JSON data right. So these are the four imports I hope it is clear to you. Then app equal to flask name. Okay, this thing I have already discussed in my previous video where I explained how to create a simple hello world flask uh, API, right? And then here we are passing all the important uh, values for Snowflake connection, user ID, password, account details, database name. Okay, you can put your database name using which you want to make connection. Okay, then warehouse, schema and role. Okay, if you want, you can take this as user input via query string parameter as well. No, no issue in that. Okay, so I'll be putting the account detail here. I'll be going to my Snowflake account and here I'll be copying this particular value. And then here in this particular account section, I'll be putting that. I'll be removing this HTTP connection. Okay, so this becomes our account. And then here we are creating the connection. Okay, right. And then here we are executing some statement that is use warehouse. Okay, that is we are asking Snowflake to use this particular warehouse. Then if the warehouse is suspended, we are executing alter warehouse resume command to resume that. Then use database, use role. So all these are common statement which I already discussed in my previous video also. And then here we have created one run query function which will be taking connection and the query which has to be executed. It will create the cursor inside that and it will try to execute. If it is throwing any exception, it will print that exception. That's it. If you want, you can process further in this try catch block. No issue. Okay. And then here, this is our run query function. Another function we have put in run query one. So what it will do? It will take also connection and query. But in this particular function, we will be executing those queries which will not return anything. But suppose you want to return some value. Okay, maybe select count study you want to execute on a particular table using the API and the count value you want to return. That time you can call this particular function. Because here after execution using fetch one function, one single value we are fetching. Now cursor.fetch1 will by default return as one tuple. So as that is one element, so we is in zeroth index position, we are extracting that value and we are always type custom to string for safe side and we are closing the cursor and we are returning the records okay right and then here this is our api so you know that we uh, put some routing mechanism in our flask api right so if any user or client hit our base url of the api then it will uh, show hello world welcome to snowflake api suppose they go to aggregator root or resource path uh, either they are using get or post method that time we are expecting one query string parameter with the uh, key query and the value part will be containing the query which has to be executed and then we are executing run query one that is this particular uh, function we are calling that particular query will be executed in snowflake and will return the data okay we are returning the extracted data Suppose we are using uh, such query which will return a result set and that complete tabular data we want to return as JSON data. That time there is another resource path we created which is data fetcher and get and post. These are common to uh, methods which we are using either get or post whatever you wish you can use. And then here it will call the data extractor function. And then here again we are taking the query value which has to be executed and then pandas read SQL function we are executing that SQL and getting the result set okay and then here we are returning what we are returning json.loads so basically as I have told you already that API data mostly return json data right so we are converting this pandas data frame to json okay so json.loads and using two json function we are basically converting the pandas data frame to json and orient equal to records we are passing so what is this meaning what is the orientation type of records so it is very simple so here i have given one demo also so if you specify orient equal to records then it will return a list 
like this way okay so here the overall thing will be encapsulated under one list and individual objects will be placed in curly bracket with column value column value like that key value here like for example this is one example how the json will look like like for example this is the overall list okay and this is one particular object or one row where column one value is a column two value is b then this is another row column one value is c column two value is d like that it will return the json data okay right and then here we are calling the main uh, main function and then we are executing that four statements that is use database use warehouse alter warehouse and then use role all those which will not return anything and then finally we are calling our app okay which will run our flask api right so this is pretty much it so what i will do i'll be copying from here and then i will be going till here okay i'll be posting all these posts in the description box or in the comment section no need to worry about the single line of code okay and here whatever code is there i'll be deleting all of them and i'll be pasting and i'll be doing control this so it is saved okay right and then now i need to put the user id and password if you want you can put in uh, system uh, in or environmental variable and from that using os module you can import to make the whole code more secure or else you can use some aws service like aws kms or something else secret manager to make your whole system more secure but for as this is a poc kind of thing so i am just using user id and password as hard coded value which i cannot show you okay right so i'll be putting my user id and password here i have given my user id and password and that's pretty much it i will be doing control s and then we can hope that our this code should run okay so we'll be doing python uh, main dot py okay let's see whether it is giving error or it is running perfectly so for this testing purpose i have written here three queries okay so first one is select count star from this particular one so we will be testing that api which is basically a return one single value right so the value is we are getting as 54 we will check whether we are getting 54 using our api or not okay and then here suppose you want to get the complete uh, all the rows from a particular table then you can use select start so this kind of tabular data might you, you might want to return as json then also we have created one particular uh resource path that is data feature right we can use that or maybe if you want you can put some particular where condition and extract a specific row also okay depending on your requirement you can play with that okay right so here no module name flask it is given. okay right so here we need to do pip install flask as well pip install flask hyphen t dot okay so i'll be copying this particular one and then here i will hit enter so we need to make sure that we are giving this one as well here in the installation part okay right okay done now let's run this one oh sorry it was already done we have to run python main.py let's see now we are getting error or not okay see it is executing use warehouse okay in value state warehouse cannot be resumed since it is not suspended okay right no issue so alter warehouse command will throw error if it is already resumed state it is not in suspended state but still if you want to execute the resume command that's why it is showing this one but not an issue executing the use database command okay fine it executing uh, use the role uh, sysadmin query fine okay right and then here this is our basically api url i'll be clicking on that and it will open in microsoft edge soon and here see our api is running hello world welcome to snowflake api now suppose i want to execute this particular query select count start from this particular one okay so if i execute what value i am getting 54 right so we should be getting that one only using this particular snowflake api as well okay right so what is our resource path our resource path is aggregator right so here i'll be going to my api and then here i'll be giving a slash and then aggregator then question mark here i'll be giving query equal to so basically this is the 
very right select count star from all set and then here i will hit enter okay so see it is giving the value 54 maybe if i execute select star from this particular one we are having this kind of data okay so here maybe i can pass suppose i want to get the maximum value of this particular column i can pass select max of okay this particular one from this one okay let us execute and see what result it is giving. So it is giving the value 6. Okay. Now let's test whether using Snowflake API it is giving correct value or not. Okay. So here I will be printing this particular one and I'll be pasting that here and here I will run. Okay. See it is giving value 6. So very fast it is perfectly working. Now the next time we have to see that whether our this particular resource path that is data feature is working or not okay so i'll be going to my api i'll be instead of aggregator i'll be going to data feature and then here question mark query equal to and then here we'll be putting what this particular query select star okay so basically we want all the information but as json data okay to so see it is given so data is our basically base a uh, key okay and then which is having a list and inside each list it is having key value pair okay object elements and this way it is separated okay right so might be it might look uh, confusing for testing so let us test with one single value whether it is working or not maybe we want to execute one where condition on cc call center sk column and if that value is 5 that one alone we want to fetch okay so here I will be copying this particular one and then here I will go and then instead of the select query I will be putting this particular one and hit enter. Okay. See CC call center SK is giving five. Perfect. Okay. Maybe you can validate some other fields also like for example CC division is four. Okay. If you go back to this one CC division. Uh, if I do control A. See CC division is four. Okay. Right. Maybe one more entity if we want to validate that is CC street number. Okay, let's check street number. Street number is 463, right? And here also you will be seeing that it is 463. So, perfectly, we are fetching the data from tabular format to JSON format. Okay, and this is the power of this particular mm -hmm. Snowflake and Flask API, right? You can play with that, you can put some machine learning model and uh, twist it and make for your de uh, deployment ready package, right? So if you find this video helpful, then please like, share and comment, subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of all latest videos. Thank you.